set up a little we set up a little um, studio in my home where you know I had the Grey Cup print in behind me and in a little um, in a little space where we could use to you know for broadcasts. Of course, uh, I think we've heard it. You know, we were all on the phone with our with our governors. Um, you know, for us, it was every week in a formal in a formal call. Uh, we were on the phone. I was on the phone with my executive team. All of us, you know, uh, you know, sharing you know, what we could uh, in the moment with what we knew. Um, our our head of HR, uh, Susan Belk, you know, had us uh, thinking about our employee strategy and making sure we would talk to them and communicate with them. Uh, it, we st we were of course. Uh, Putting out information, some of it uh, we were putting out, some of the some of the, the media was putting out around you know what might or might not happen, uh, you know with the upcoming season. It, it was literally everything. The um, I think the thing that strikes me is um, the days became long. It was a 24-hour event. Everything was going on. All of the things you described. Watching all of your you had a certain format to kind of inform yourself for what might be coming today and then you know reaching out trying to get to all of the stakeholders and people i i think that the message that uh one of the things nick said that, that strikes me is i think we really did learn um just how amazing our people were um uh, really and and i'm i'm talking uh, the big the big uh, uh our people I, I think we were struck by just how amazing our fan base was how much they cared about us and they were constantly reaching out uh, you know with voices of support uh, our internal team just how amazing they were how resilient that word that's a word that I think frankly has been probably used a lot but maybe almost underused how much we've learned about ourselves as people uh, you know that we can stick together and fight through you know significant issues together um, and there was comfort in that there was comfort in being able to kind of look around your ecosystem and just see people doing great things you know, Tom, you used the word leadership. I think we saw it everywhere, but I also would add we, we had a lot, a lot of learning. I think what I, what I was amazed by is how, and again, it connects back to resilience, how quickly we were able to adapt and learn and make changes and continue to kind of drive ourselves in a way that um, uh, took advantage of what we had just learned in the last 24 hours. So, so our learning and adoption cycle, I think, really accelerated during that time. And all of that helped us to stay connected to each other. So the more we saw, the more we heard, the more we learned, the more we, the more we uh, pushed ourselves to adapt and, and, and ultimately to engage with everybody that, uh, that we needed to engage with. It wasn't perfect. In fact, if anything, it's a, it was kind of messy, really. I think that's another thing that we'll remember is uh, we were learning on the go. Uh, you know, I think the expression you hear, you know, that, well, duh, this is like my first global pandemic. Uh, and hopefully our last. Uh, but what we had to do is we had to learn on the fly. And it was at times, it, was, it wasn't particularly elegant, but it was necessary. And we were, and we were watching how the sausage got made together in, in, live, uh, in, a, in a live way. Uh, but you know, again, communication literally 24 hours a day and engagement at every, at every opportunity.